Hi, welcome back to Susan's Kitchen Corner, and this is the pumpkin pie episode. It's a little bit more involved. It's a little bit more challenging. Um, I've got all my ingredients here. I'll list them off. Okay, let's look at our pumpkin pie blind bake. Okay, we have a little bit of a snafu, but don't let stuff like this go. Oh, I didn't do it right. It's not perfect. It's, it's. Don't let that get in the way. It's not going to. It's not going to. I know this isn't going to go into the thing, so we're just going to take this. We're going to put it aside. We're not going to use it. It's fine. Don't panic. Sometimes you have good ones. Sometimes you don't. It's all about practice. So let's get those beans out and find something. We'll put them in. They're going to be kind of warm. But remember, practice makes perfect. I, I didn't really want to make a perfect one. I don't like perfect because it's, it, I mean, if you want to show, I'm into eating. I'm not into show, showing, well, you know, it doesn't make sense, but um, it doesn't have to be perfect. If you want to practice and practice until you can get it perfect, great. Because that, that's, a, that's a, a, a talent. But I'm into making and eating. So, there we go. It's okay. It's not, it's not gonna, it's not gonna affect the flavor. So, what we got going on over here is we have a lot of stuff going on over here. Okay. You're gonna need a few cloves, about a pinch of cloves, either already, already uh, crushed, or I'm gonna crush them right now in my mortal and pestle. And you're gonna need about, if you don't have a measuring spoon, about a pinch, good pinch. Okay, that's fast. You're gonna need four tablespoons of flour three eggs, which we're going to crack right in here. And if you see my kitchen being messy, it's because I got a lot of things going on at once right now. So, then we're going to need, uh, don't forget condensed milk. We're going to need about a cup. So condensed, oh wait, excuse me, sweet condensed milk. We're going to need four tablespoons of brown sugar. We're going to need, oh yeah, we're going to need one and three-fourths cup of the pumpkin, pumpkin scrapings. We're going to need, what's in bag number two? We're going to need... And ginger, not the whole thing. Yeah, let me look at the sugar so I don't get that right. We're gonna need where's the sugar? Three four tablespoons of sugar. We're gonna need cinnamon. Cinnamon, where's my cinnamon? Ah, there's my cinnamon. We're gonna need two tape uh, <laughs> not two tablespoons. And two teaspoons of cinnamon, two teaspoons of nutmeg, and okay, and with these eggs, we are going to need an egg beater, and <laughs> where's my egg beater? Uh oh, up oh, there it is. And let me look for my eggs, not my eggs, my, my beaters, up oh, there they are. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're going to beat these until they double in volume. We're gonna make a mess basically that's what we're gonna do. This takes about, well, let's watch. <laughs> this might help. 
the bait turns down a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. I have it on level two. Oh yeah, and before I forget, you know, I want to put this in the refrigerator. Here's the rest of the pumpkin. It's, it's still has been hasn't been scraped out. Can you see it? So this goes right into the refrigerator, into a spot because it is pretty warm. Oh, let's leave this out for a minute. It's still too hot. Actually, take the lid off a little bit. So let it cool down because it's not good putting hot things and cold things together. So it's one tablespoon. Uh, actually, it's two tablespoons. And I'm pressing the um, brown sugar into it. So two, four tablespoons of brown sugar goes into it. Watch when I pinch it. So if you want, get a good pinch of it like that. Sprinkle it in. Let's add all of it. And oh, this one's got a seal on top of it. Half a teaspoon of nutmeg. And two teaspoons of cinnamon. Mm. Okay. Let's put in our uh, sweet condensed milk. Don't worry, we're getting to the pumpkin. Okay, and I should really have this on here. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to get a spatula. making a mess. And it's okay now I'll look for something we need that we had out and we don't. Let's see. Ah, there we go. Okay so we're gonna take a vegetable peel and we're gonna peel some of this skin off the um I'm gonna peel it right onto the stove. Bad cook. Okay and then what we're gonna do we'll get a really big dry spot right there. Get rid of all that skin. That's not what we're after. And I've got a big, huge dry spot in here, which I didn't even see before. 
peel that out. Is there anything that looks inedible? Peel it out. Okay, that would be better. You can peel it tonight. If you don't have a, don't have a. Uh, okay, and it's gonna turn blue a little bit. That's called oxidation. So don't, don't. Oh. Okay, what's that greenish blue tinge to it? Apples do the same thing. Okay, now we got. Oh, let's put that there. Uh, now we're gonna look for a. See, the prepared hook doesn't have everything in front of them. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, cheese grater. The fine mesh. We're gonna do. We're gonna do the right side. Oh man. Okay, you didn't see this. This is the first. We're gonna take this. You're gonna watch me put it right in through the water. Wash it off. I apologize if you guys are like freaking out right now, but I washed it off. This is a good chunk of ginger that should not be wasted. So, now if it was ice cream, no, we wouldn't do that with ice cream. And if you guys get all ickied out by that, I'm sorry, but. I don't like wasting ginger. That's that was good people. I don't like wasting anything. Okay. Now here comes the fun part. We're gonna add. We're gonna get something. This is. <laughs> I'm gonna scoop a little bit of this into the mixture and blend it a little bit at a time. This part you might want to hold it straight up and down now. There's a lot of liquid in here. And it's going to be a lot watery. So, just keep on adding it. If you can add it, let's just add the whole thing. Because there is a lot of water inside the pumpkin. Ah! Okay. Straight up and down. Make sure you hold it straight up and down or it's going to be splattered all over the place. It just works. Okay. Wow. Okay. Add the flour. Okay, for this purposes, because it has a lot of water in it, I'm going to add four more tablespoons. Let's add, let's see, four, eight, let's add twelve. Okay, and mind you, if you're making a mess like me, um, mind you, that boy, I'm not having good, this is, I need to be a bigger bowl. Mind you, um, that when you put this in, it's basically making it a stable, if it's really watery, because this is a lot watery than I expected it to be. So we're going to stop the using the blender, because I'm, I, ooh, unplug it before you do that. Knock these off. And get your spatula, wherever that was, which is okay, and mix in the rest of the flour. So, and I'll show you what I mean by really watery. And oh, 